listening on YouTube, family, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. All right, this one right here is crazy, Sam. Man, we're gonna start off with this one, man. The games manager, whack 100, posted a picture the other day, and here's the caption. Y'all see it right there on the screen. It says, "Don't Tupac shit. Understand this, please. Whack don't give two fucks about giving a fuck." Now comment on this gay ass shit. Money be baby. So he puts a picture up. You know what I mean? All that gangster talk he put in there. He puts a picture up pretty much with Tupac Shakur, as y'all see on the screen, with a brother. And pretty much is trying to insinuate that Tupac Shakur is bisexual. It says it right at the top. He says, so Tupac was bisexual. And he puts the emojis, you know, right there. Now, a lot of people didn't talk about this. When I seen this, I'm like, we got to talk about this because I question motive behind this but if the picture is real which it looks real to me what do you think about whack 100 who was the games manager and he manages ray j by the way and blueface the new rapper called blueface putting this picture up disrespecting a legend called tupac how, how you feel about this picture man i don't i don't really put too much into it because the source is is, is whack Wow. No pun intended. And I don't mean that in, in a disrespectful way, even even though, I mean, if it is what it is, it's pretty disrespectful. But when you can go ahead and, and, and run your mouth about the dead, especially somebody as iconic as Tupac Shakur and what he's done for our culture, what he's done for, for the people that he's been around and the impact that he made while he was here. Right. It's completely disrespectful on all ends. That man can't rebuttal or con comments to what you just said, what you put out there on him. He can't right. say anything. People in his circle can't say anything because they can't speak for him. So mm -hmm. you, you out here just disrespecting somebody without any way of them responding back. That's whack. That's gutless. That's corny. Well, whack 100 pretty much said, you know, he said, dead or alive. If a fuck nigga is a fuck nigga, I'm going to show you the fuck nigga. I'm looking for the exact quote right here in my album. But he said something to that. I have it in one second. Hold on. So that makes you tough. So that makes you dope. That makes but, you hard on the Internet because you could type that shit. So what? Well, people are going to say, Sam, man, to you, they're going to be like, why are you not dealing with the picture? Like, you, you, why are you not dealing with the fact that the picture's out there? And he's talking, okay, forget the source now. The yeah. source, okay, the source is whatever. We call him whack. You know what I mean? We know whack 100. He runs his mouth and all that, but he does back it up. You know what I mean? He did knock the dude out called Stitcher. But anyway, yeah, anyway <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you think about the source of this? And would it matter if Tupac was bisexual, is what I should say? Did it matter if Richard Pryor was bisexual? Does that take away from his brilliance? Does it matter? Mm -hmm. See, we gotta get we we often get hung up, especially as men, mm -hmm. on who the fuck people are sleeping with. Who cares? I know who I'm sleeping with. I know the woman that I'm sleeping with, and I'm very content on the woman that I'm sleeping with. Mm -hmm. You very content with the woman you're sleeping with. We're not involved or who care about who what the next man is sleeping with. That's not mm -hmm. our business. Mm -hmm. So we sitting here and we're gonna take away the fact that Pac was so revolutionary to everything he did and worry about who that man slept with, whether it was real or not. You really give a fuck about who he slept with? We're mm -hmm. really going to sit here and have a discussion over this man laying here. Now, listen, mm -hmm. if he was out here in 2019 talking against homosexuality, saying the most wildest things in the world, mm -hmm. and then this picture comes out, we could call him a hypocrite. But the man is dead. We can, mm -hmm. What are we going to talk about? He can't defend himself. And I'm not about to sit here and have commentary over a man and or who he sleeps with. That ain't my business. You running out of you running from the question, man. You running, Sam. Man. Go ahead. People, well, you people, answer. Go ahead, you and and you, <laughs> go ahead and be a chatty patty. Go ahead and be a chatty patty about it. Give your commentary. I'm just saying. On, nah, on, I'm, on, I'm on just Tupac laying with this dude. And nah, I'm just saying it. it looks crazy. It's crazy. No matter when it comes out, it's like I didn't expect to see that. You know what I mean? Now, well, people maybe people might look at him different for that because I mean he did have. That. I mean, I don't, I don't remember him personally. You know, saying saying anything against. You know homosexuals per se he may have I, I don't remember hearing it but um it looks crazy i would never expect the picture to come out like this of tupac shakur lay it up with another dude it just looks crazy no matter what no matter who the source is no matter who said it it definitely looks crazy and, and, and to reiterate what the brother said i got it right here in front of me whack 100 put dead or alive if whack finds out you're a fuck nigga you're going to be laid with a fuck nigga let That's me, simple. okay so let me ask you a question because we're both very proud heterosexual males right right that picture what does that take away from anything that pop's done out here for this culture you tell me what that takes what does that take away from it you? looks like it this, here's what it looks like it looks like that he may have been hiding his like uh, lifestyle if this is true if this is real it looks like he may have been hiding something which a lot of people hide things i'm not saying that it takes away anything from me but i'm saying it may it's a reason why he's putting that picture up you know what i mean maybe to discredit 
you know, him and his follow. I mean, he's been discredited him for, for a while now. See, my so, thing is if we want to have right. discussion amongst brothers while we smoking, while we doing whatever, joking and laughing <laughs> and have some commentary and, and joke about this, that's right. one thing. But for us to have <laughs> platforms and for us to sit there and really tear a man's legacy down, everything he built, because he got a real suspect picture out here that he can't defend himself on and he can't go, yo, this is Photoshop, this is wild. Or, yeah, I may have got some skeletons in my closet. He can't defend himself. So it's not fair for us to go, yo, his legacy is destroyed because we've seen this Polaroid of him laying in some hotel room randomly weird with some dude. Like, it's not fair for them to do that. And for WAP 100 to put that picture out there and to claim, yo, this, this, and this, you corny as hell. Well, what does it say to, like, the fact that he's the game's manager and game from the West Coast? That's a little weird to me that, you know, he would be going again. I thought the game rocked with Tupac. You know and what I mean? He probably still does. I would be, I, I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, he's, yeah. Somebody puts a picture like if somebody puts a picture up. You're gone. You're a legend. You're a rapper. Everybody knowing you be a brother and you might mess with women. Twenty five years later, whatever. Somebody puts a picture of you laid up in a bed like this. Puts it up on the internet. You don't expect people to go crazy. And say whoa. Like, I ain't know my man was into this type of shit up in the uh, economy lodge or whatever that's laid up with a nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo. Well, see, we can sit here and have a conversation, <laughs> like I said, amongst brothers, but we can't go and, yeah, yeah, and no tear that brother's that. name up. You know what I mean? And and, and do yeah. what a whack 100 did. I think it's and messed it, up, though. Like, sorry to cut you nah, off. Go, brother. Now, to keep to be serious real, nah, real quick, man, I think it's kind of messed up. That he would even uh put this up to tarnish the but I know I know how the Tupac fans are gonna look at this already. They're gonna be pissed. They're gonna go crazy. They're gonna go crazy about this. So I mean, you know, I don't know, man. I don't really know the truth about it. all I can go is what I seen with Tupac when I heard he seemed like a stand-up brother to me. Now, if this was the case, that kind of just is what it is in my book. I mean, if he was into what he was into, he was, but I always knew Tupac to be a straight brother. That's all I know. I mean, that's just what it is. You too, right? Yeah, I mean. I didn't know. I didn't, you know, if this is true, I never knew him to go that way. I just didn't. It's a shocker to me. I knew him as a rapper and a poet and, and someone that gave incredible speeches. I didn't know who he slept with. I never really. So it don't matter. You're saying it don't matter if he, he, you don't matter if he slept with men or women. He's just a great rapper, artist, person. It doesn't matter. What are you saying? Just... I'm not. Nah, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. I, I don't really care. Oh, I mean, it is I know what, what I sleep with. I know I'm cool. So I ain't, right. tri I ain't tripping on who else, another man, and what they doing. Right. I ain't really bugging on. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, kind of is what it is, man. But I already know, man. Don't go at us. You know what I mean? We just uh, relaying the. We're just the messenger. They say don't shoot the messenger. They gonna go in on us. Yeah, I know they are. Yeah, go ahead, man. Do it. They're gonna down like it and all. That's all good, mm -hmm. man. We'll take it. We'll take it on chin, man. But you're tuning into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother Old God and Sam, man. Going in today, you know, um, on this what Monday? You been here Monday, getting it in. Now, but speaking of Tupac, though, man, I want to um talk about this while we're talking about, you know, uh, Tupac, Suge Knight's son. Yeah, man. Suge Knight's son, as I scroll for this story real quick, um, pretty much said that Tupac is in the studio and he's going to be releasing some new music. There, I see it right there on the screen. Sam, man, is this dude crazy or what? You know what, man? We did a story on this shit, what, a couple months ago? It had to be hot outside, as cold as it is right now. I remember right. good memories of warmth. But anyway... And he said that Pac was alive and we thought he was crazy for that. And we, we he said that there were reports out there. I had a discussion with a dude and I'm not going to disclose his name, but he says that he has evidence 100 percent that mm -hmm. Pac is alive and he gets reason as to, and as to why. And it yep. gets deep. Yeah, there's a lot of people that yeah. believe that Tupac is still alive and very much alive. Now, whether he is releasing music or not or doing music shit, it remains to be seen that we're going to hear it. Well, he said here he goes. He says, I got. Pop back in the studio. He said he new, got pop back in. So he said I got pop back in the studio. New music coming, and um, he's saying that after. Remember, he was saying that originally that Tupac was in Malaysia. You know what I mean? And um, Tupac's about to release some new music. Um, he said he said y'all can call me crazy and all that, but y'all gonna see the Tupac's gonna release some music. So we'll have to just wait and see. Man, look, if Tupac's alive, he's alive, but he ain't sitting there rolling with Shook Knight's son. That's some wild. <laughs> shit like that. that brother wilding on that one. Yeah. And I didn't know you can I ain't know Malaysia was a place. I thought you got Malaysia. I might be wilding on that. Where's Malaysia at? Uh in, somewhere. in Asia. Shit. Maybe. I don't even know. Do a do a uh you know um a Siri X Siri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never heard the of people, that. People they correct us in the comment. I think it is a real place though. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. So that's crazy. If we see some new pop music, that'd be dope, though. I mean, we can hear pop, pop probably recorded thousands and thousands of records. You're going to have to get me more than that. Have him dissing a little pump with somebody wild out here and <laughs> new. Talk about 6 9 or somebody. Then you got me like, oh, shit. Yeah, he's Word. alive. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam, man, going in today on 
this Monday evening. If you're listening on YouTube, you already know what to do. Hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. All right, Sam, man, we got to talk about.